So let's look at the following problem. Suppose a ball is thrown upward with a velocity of 15 meters per second. Find the time it takes the ball to reach a height of 9 meters, assuming no air resistance. So, let's look at our diagram. So here we have the ball, and here we have our ground. So we set the ground to be a position of 0 meters. So our y not is 0 meters. Now the ball initially blasts off with some velocity, given here 15 meters per second. So our v not is 15 meters per second. Now, eventually it will reach a height of 9 meters. So let's set our height, y, to be 9 meters. We want to find how long it takes the ball to go from our height 0 to height 9. So we're looking for the time. That means we need to use one of the four equations for motion on the constant acceleration, and we're going to use this equation. Now, we know what our y is. The y is 9.0 meters. It's the final height the ball will reach. Equals 0 meters is the initial height, the ground, plus our initial velocity, v naught 15 meters per second, multiplied by time. That's what we're looking. Plus 1 half multiplied by, well, our velocity is pointing upward, and our acceleration due to gravity is pointing downward. Because the directions are opposite, that means our uh, value for our acceleration must be negative. So negative 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by time squared. So let's get rid of the zero and let's remove all our units. So we have a clear equation here, 9.0 equals 15t minus 4.9t squared. So let's bring everything to one side and set it equal to zero. So we get 4.9t squared minus 15t plus 9.0 equals zero. Now, we want to basically solve for t. In other words, we want to plug a t such that when I plug the t in, the entire equation equals zero. That time is the time it takes the ball to go from the ground to our final uh, height of 9 meters. So, in order to solve this quadratic equation, we have to use the quadratic formula shown here. So, negative b plus minus radical b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, where our a value is this 4.9, our b value is negative 15, and our c value is positive 9.0. So, let's plug all the values in, and we get negative 15 times negative, so we get positive plus minus radical 15 or negative 15 squared minus 4 times 4.9 times 9. So, if, uh, if we multiply 15 by 15, we get 225. If we multiply these numbers out, we get 176.4. So let's plug them into the calculator, and at the end, we get two values. Why? Well, because we have a positive and a negative. So one of the values is 2.24 seconds. The second value is 0.82 seconds. So why is it that we have two different values and are both of these values the answers and the answer is yes both of these values are the answers because when the ball blasts off it goes past this nine meter height then stops at the maximum height and begins returning back to the ground so it actually passes the nine meter mark twice this represents the first time it passes as it is going upward. Then when it reaches a maximum height and begins to travel downward, this is what the value represents. So if we plot our distance, y, with respect to time, we see that we have a parabolic form. Why? Well, because we have a quadratic equation. So. The first value represents the value when it passes our 9 meter mark, shown with this dashed line. And the second one is shown here. So 0.82 seconds and 2.24 seconds is our second value. So it passes that 9 meter mark twice.